Hello DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today I'll be taking a look at the DC Collectibles Batman The Adventure Continues Batman made by DC Collectibles. Ah yes, I got me a DC Collectibles Batman The Animated Series figures. Well, this is not based on the animated series, but this is more likely the based on the comic book, which is a continuation to the Batman the Animated Series. But hey, I still got this figure because I really love the Batman the Animated Series show. A great show. A masterpiece. So anyway, let's take a look at the packaging here. The packaging is just the usual packaging that I take a look at the Mr. Freeze from the new Batman Adventures line. You can see the window exposing the figure. And you can see the exposing the accessories as well. Does have his name here. He is from Batman the Adventure Continue. The Adventures Continue. He is number 50. On the side here it is sculpted by Irene Matter Mater. I, I don't know how you pronounce the person's name. Warning Choking Hazard, DC Collectibles logo. In the background you can see the image of Batman here. On the back here, there's nothing much, no other figures. So anyway, let's release this guy out of the Arkham Plastic Prison. Here we got Batman out of the package. Take a look at the figure here. Whoops. Yeah, he wants to fall off because I feel like his legs are a bit skinny. Or they're not too skinny. For some reason, he just likes to fall off. Maybe his leg is uneven, so I might fix that with a hair dryer. Take a look at the head sculpt here. The head sculpt, they did really a great job with this head sculpt. It looks exactly like how he looks throughout the animated series. Oh man, oh man, it is a not bad head sculpt. Yep, man, I don't know what to say. They did really a great job with the head sculpt here. Even though the whole body itself is the same figure as the, the first version of the Batman animated series figures but I don't have any of those so thankfully I'm glad I have this guy take a look at the uh, the cowl and the cape you can see the some blue lines and blue paint details all over the gal and the um, the cape as well in the original version of the uh, the figure he does not have just plain black paint and a cowl it does have the blue the blue and black cowl with a little bit of black I mean the whole entire cape and cowl are black but some blue shades there just like the animated series I really like how they added like the little blue detailed all over the um, the cape and cowl it looks exactly like how he looks in the animated series now take a look at the the body here the body, nothing much, is plain gray, but you can see some of the shadowy effects on the, the stomach and the pecs area, just like how he was in the animated series. And you get the little bat symbol there, very well sculpted. Nothing on the arms, just plain old gray arms. Take a look at the gloves here, the gauntlets. You see more blue here, details. On the gauntlets as well. Again, not too bad. Same thing like the um, the cape. And speaking of the cape, you can see the blue on the in on the inside of the cape there. You get a little utility belt there, which is not too bad. Very well sculpted of the uh, the belt that he wore in the cartoon and other Batman media's where Batman uses their, his utility belt. And take a look at the trunks here, nothing much on the, the trunks, just black, but a little bit of blue there. You see some of the gray legs there, nothing much. And take a look at the boots, you can see there's more blue lines on each side of the legs. And there's like a little messy paint there, which I might fix that with Silit, with a, um, Acetone. And on the bottom, there's some one peco on the bottom feet and no legal stuff, thankfully. But there's a legal stuff on the legs there. 
yeah. Overall for this figure, DC Collectibles did a great job with this figure. I really like how he looks to the animated series counterpart, even though this is based on the comic book, but it's more of a animated series to me. For articulation, the head does go fully rotate carefully. It does have a little ball joint there. It goes side to side, up a little bit, down, lower, this low. The arms does not go fully rotate because it's hindered by the cape, but does go in and out. Bend at the elbows, rotate at the elbows. The wrists do rotate and has the hinge movement. There's some waist rotation. Legs kick forward and back, in and out. Bend at double jointed knees. There's a little boot rotate as well. The ankles do go pivot forward and back. And ankle pivot side to side. Oh yeah. You know who loves ankle pivot? Shronimus Prime. Oh yeah. Overall, the articulation is is really good. You can still limited possibilities with this figure on your display shelf. Uh, come on, stay. There we go. Oh, don't fall. Please don't fall, don't fall. Oh, man. Oh man, it's the ankles. Are they loose? Hope not. Uh, there we go. Now for... Uh, yep. Yeah, I might fix that with the super glue on the ankles. Now for accessories, he does come with a few accessories. He does come with a pair of grabbing, holding hands to hold on the accessories. Came with two holding, battering holding hands, which is strange that they don't look like they're about to hold on a battery. So speaking of a battery, he does come with a battery with a little blue airy little blue paint there. So let's see if it fits the uh Yeah, well sorta of, yeah it kinda of does hold on tightly. You can make possibilities with this figure holding the battery. And lastly, he does come with his alternate head that has the grapple gun hand. Which he sometimes fall and then grab the grapple gun. Boom. There you go. I know the original figure of the first version, I mean the second version of the animated series, has the exactly same hand. But it came with the other grappling gun, which is doesn't hold on perfectly. But thankfully... DC collectibles did not add the grappling gun onto this ver version of the figure. So I don't mind that have a sculpted grappling gun on the figure. And lastly, he does come with a checklist. With the Batman the Anime series and the Batman the Adventures Continue series. And on the back here, you got other figures from the, uh, the anime series like... The Great Ghost from the episode Beware of the of the Great Ghost. The Hardtack or Robot Batman. Scarecrow. Two-Face. Bane. Killer Croc. Mr. Freeze. Poison Ivy. So that's about it for the adventure, the, the animated series. Now let's move on to the adventure continues figures like Batman we're, that we're looking at. Red Hood, Asriel, Harley Quinn, Joker, Super Armor Batman, Deathstroke, and Robin. If you look closely on the figure, the prototype version does have like the some sort of the ab crunch movement, while the official figure does not have the ab crunch movement, which is kind of strange for a figure. Like, I don't know why DC Collectibles didn't add the ab crunch movement, 
for some reason. Eh, I don't know. But it's, it's still a good looking figure, to be honest. Overall for this figure, I I really love it. I really do love this figure so much. The articulation is very limited. It's not too stiff, to be honest. But you can make great possibilities with this figure. The like the the, the sculpt to the um, animated series again. It's not based on the anime series, but it's based on the comic book. But it's a animated series for me. I really do like this figure so much. It's really a, a great representation to the animated series Batman figure. Overall, I highly recommend getting this figure for your Batman the Animated Series shelf. Or your Batman shelf or DC shelf. If you have this version, if you have like the the first version from the um, Batman the Animated Series line from DC Collectibles. Then this figure is an easy pass. But if you missed out of some of the old DC Universe, well, DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series figure, then this is your chance of getting this figure. So overall, I highly recommend getting this figure at your local comic book stores or anywhere else that sells DC Collectibles. For my rate, I'm going to give the DC Collectibles Batman the Adventures Continue Batman figure a... I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. For me so that's about it make sure to tune in for new videos daily don't forget to subscribe like this video share this video and comment on this video don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos after you subscribe so you won't, won't miss any new uploads and be part of the notification squad finally follow me on instagram and twitter both links will be in the description down below that's all i can say this is the Batman, the, Advent, the Adventures Continue Batman figure made by DC Collectibles. And this is JAR369. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next review.